Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, had a couple requests about the overlay I use on my stream for showing my now playing. Uh, I use local files only and it's hard to find an overlay that'll do that. And uh, I'm going to show you today how I did it exactly. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Here you can see my OBS. I apologize for the widescreen and the lighting and the camera and everything. I'm in the process of moving so I just had to pull a couple things out, some older things real quick. Uh, so basically the first thing you're going to start with is downloads. So obviously you're going to want VLC Media Player. Um, if you use Windows, then download the Windows one. If you don't, download whatever you use. I run a 64-bit, so I'll just run the installer. And then it installs. So all these things you're going to want to do while OBS is closed. Otherwise you just have to close it and reopen it when it's done anyway. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to Google search Xiphon's Now Playing. It should be the first one you find on our OBS project. Here you'll see he's, uh, his setup is generally for Tuna and Snip, and it's used with uh, things like Spotify and a couple of others. But we're going to change that. So you go to download, and then you'll be greeted with a Google Drive. Just click the drop down and download. It'll show up down here that it's zipping, and then it'll pop out on the bottom as downloaded. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to download is Tuna. So you're going to search Tuna OBS. Should be the first one on our OBS project. Same similar thing here. Click the download, then pick your uh, OS that you're using. I just ran the installer because it's just going to spit it out into the OBS Studio under program files anyway. It doesn't really matter. So once you have those downloaded, you're going to open OBS back up, and you should see here that you have Tuna settings under Tools now. And if you right-click to add a source, you should see VLC Video Source. So the first thing we're going to want to do once we have all these downloaded is add our VLC video source. As you can see, I already have mine because it's the same stream PC I use for streaming that I'm using for recording. So I'll just leave this one called VLC video source and then you'll get some options. So if you don't want your music to stop, uh, set it to loop playlist. If you want to play random songs, obviously put on shuffle. For your visibility behavior, uh, I personally like to stop when not visible, restart when visible so that it picks a new song every time. Uh, scene changes. Generally I'm on the playing scene the entire time, but sometimes I need to go to the break scene or I go to end, I want a new song to play. You also can pause when not visible or unpause when visible and always play when not visible. For these purposes we'll leave it here. Now for your playlist, I do a directory and I just put a bunch of songs into one. So if you look here I have my local streaming folder and I have a music folder. It doesn't show anything but this thing is super full. So I'll select this folder and I'll press OK. So now our VLC video source is blaring music in your ears right now. And we know it's working, we can see it here. We'll stop that for now. And now we're going to go into where we downloaded our Xiphon's Now Playing, put it wherever you want it to be permanently. Uh, like I said, mine's on our local stream stuff, and in this particular, for this video, it's under for video, but my normal one is here. Okay, so we'll go back where you have it. This is what it'll look like. These are the things. Now you won't have artist, artwork, or track. You're going to want to edit song HTML. I use Notepad++. Okay, here's what you'll be greeted with, and what we're looking for is the txt files. <clears throat> so this should be called snip underscore artist dot txt. Change it to artist, change this one to track or song, and you're going to change your artwork to artwork dot png instead of snip underscore artwork jpeg or jpg. It's important you remember the file extension is png. And then you'll change it here too while you're at it. Save that close it and Xiphon's now playing is set up. We're going to go on that front until, until we add it as a source. So what we'll do here is we'll right click, add, browser. Um, I'll just leave it called browser for now, but you can change it to whatever. Make sure you check local file, browse, and find that song.html. Change your width. These are per Xiphon. This is what he says works best. 350 by 70. 
make sure you leave custom CSS in here, otherwise it won't be transparent when not in use, it'll show a white block. Um, I do shut down when not visible and refresh when the scene becomes active. Press OK. Should be greeted with a transparent box. I like to put mine in the lower left, you can put it wherever. And now playing is now set up. Now we need to set up Tuna to actually pull the information, put it in the Zyphon folder so that now playing can read it. You're going to go to Tools, Tuna Settings, and you're going to go to Basics. So for your song cover path, this is going to pull the information from the song's properties and it's going to spit out the artwork cover somewhere. And you're going to want it in the exact same folder as that song HTML. Save it as artwork.png should save as a PNG automatically, but anyways, as artwork. What's important here is that we're saving this as the exact same name as what we changed it in the song HTML. Okay, and then for your song info outputs, we're going to add new. We're going to choose a location, which again, we want it in the same spot as the HTML file. We're going to save this first one as track.txt or song, whatever you labeled it in the HTML file that we edited earlier. And you're going to use percent %t or title, which we're calling track, same thing. Press OK. We're going to add one more. Uh, again, same location, same name as what you changed in the HTML file. This one we'll call artist, but we named it in our HTML. And we're going to do percent %m for artist. It's okay. Make sure you change your song source to VLC. Refresh rate, 500 milliseconds is half a second. I figure that's plenty. Um, you can apply it and then press start and it'll tell you if Tuna is running. Press apply again just in case. Press okay. So now, our browser source is here for now playing. Tuna is now pulling the proper information. So theoretically, when we start this, it should start working. Look at that. We have our artwork, we have our artist. I know it's weird, it's just called M, our song. It's important to note that you can use any music you want. Obviously, you're gonna want copyright free, etc. if you're streaming with this. However, it will only pull the information if it is in the properties of the song. Okay, so you can see it's working here. It's only gonna pull the information if it's in the song. So let's go to my local stream stuff. This is my music folder. I get all of my music from Free Music Tunes on YouTube. It's all copyright free and they have playlists. And I use 4K Video Downloader to download it. You can copy the link to their playlist on YouTube and paste the link here and it'll parse all the videos and give you options if you want to pull the video and the audio or just the audio and in what quality you want it. Obviously it depends on the quality it was uploaded at, but you get what I mean. So if we look at this one, 25 Scratch. Look at properties, details. You can see here, this is the only title. This is what it's called. So this is what's gonna show as title. Contributing artist is empty, so it's going to show nothing. However, if we go to something like, um, uh, let's see, Excello. You can see in the details, they have a title. And they have a contributing artist. So that's what's going to show as the title. And then the artist up top here. This should work with virtually any software you want to use or any type of music, any type of player, as long as you have a way to extract the information from the song and put it in the Now Playing's source uh, folder. So if you guys have any questions for me, uh, leave a comment on the video, uh, likes, uh, follows, subscribes, they all help out, I really appreciate it. All of my social media has been going on the right side here since I started, so if I helped you out, let me know. Bye guys!